Hello and welcome to Vitus Academy. Today we will be solving for the solutions of x of x plus 6 to the power of 3 times x minus 4 over 7 minus x to the power of 7 bigger than 0. So, what can we say? What are our solution for x? Well, let's draw a simple line here, like this. And simply see what is going on. Okay, we have some interesting points. Uh, we should calculate in which cases we get zeros from this three Mm. from these three simple tasks, so to say, x plus 6 is equal to 0 when x is equal to minus 6. So, we simply write somewhere here minus 6. Yes, uh, the same with x minus 4. It is equal to 0 when x is equal to 4, so we need to write 4 somewhere as well, like this, and then we need to solve the same for 7 minus x, equal to 0, so in that case x should be equal to, okay, minus x should be equal to minus 7, and if we multiply by minus 1 both, x should be equal to 7. So let's put 7 somewhere here. And now let's consider what do we have here. In order to have something bigger than 0, pretty much is the 7 minus x allowed? I mean, in order it would be 7 minus minus 7. 7 minus 7, so it would be so it would be 0, and it's obvious that it is not allowed. So we do it like this. Because 7 minus 7 is 0, and we cannot divide by 0. What about x minus 4? Should it be allowed? Solving for the interesting point for number 4. Uh, if we have here 4, so it would be 4 minus 4. It would be 0, so something times 0 divided by something is obviously a 0, so 0 cannot be bigger than 0. This one is also not allowed. And now let's talk about minus 6. Following the same logic as we just I just explained with the minus 4. Uh, if we have minus 6 here, minus 6 and 6 are 0, 0 times something is 0 and 0 divided by some by anything is yeah 0 and it is bigger than 0 that's a false so the minus 6 also cannot be allowed so what do we pretty much do we're looking for all the positive solutions and in order to find the positive solutions let's find from infinity to 7 the solutions what is what are they are they minus or are they plus Let's see the sign, and from minus infinity to minus 6, then from minus 6 to 4, then from 4 to 7, and then from 7 to infinity. So what do we do? We replace with really big number, which usually should be a million, but in our case, it would be something like a thousand, okay? So we saw 4x equals a thousand. So we have 1000 plus... 6 to the power of 3, then 1000 minus 4, and then 7 minus 1000 to the power of 7. Okay, so 7 minus 1000, unfortunately. Mm, is a negative number 
and a negative number powered by 7 anode. It is obvious that it's a negative. 1000 plus 6 is a positive number times to the power of 3. This is a positive and we have 1000 minus 4 which is 996 also positive. So what do we have? Like a positive plus a positive divided by a negative. Well that's a negative number in this case. So what do we do here? We write a minus here, like this. Yes, and then we take a look at the 7. Where did this 7 come from? Because we are, we are going in this direction from infinity to minus infinity. So the 7, we, we get it from here. 7 minus x divided by 7. So there are two ways. We can, for example, take a number here, like any number between 4 and 7. Let's take 5, and we can start solving the same thing for 5, or we can do something, something better which we are going to do, we're going to say 7 is to the power of an even thing, so it changes the sign. So between 4 and 7 the results would be a plus. Then we go to the 4. Again we have two options, we can go and select a number like minus 5 and replace x with minus 5 or we can take a look at the 4 and we can say hey I don't see a number here, so it's obviously a 1. If it is a 1, it is an, it is an, it is an odd number, so again we change the sign from plus it becomes a minus. Then we go to minus 6. Minus 6, we took it from here, it is a 3. E is an odd number, so we change again, and we, from minus we take plus. Okay. So we are looking for a solution where x is bigger than 0. So in our case, this is bigger than 0 here and here. And we write it down like this. x belongs to minus infinity, minus 6, like this, united with... 4 to 7, not including both. Okay. And now let's take a look at the function. How does it look at Desmos? Pretty much it looks like this, starting from minus infinity. And somewhere around, I would say, 7, something happens with the function, which is visible y because it's an exponent of 7 minus x to the power of 7 and of course it doesn't have a solution here but we wouldn't be able to solve to show because it's not non-existent and the solution doesn't exist because 7 minus 7 is 0 we cannot divide by 0 and if we want to see the solution for let's say something like uh, here 4.7, then the solution for 4.7 for 4.7999 is somewhere around 4, you can see it. And if we really repeat our function, because currently it looks like this, we can see that we have two solutions actually, 4 and 6. So yeah, and they actually make perfect sense, minus 6, because if this is minus 6, then this times this is 0 divided by minus, by anything it's a 0, the same here. And if we write our original function, which was bigger than 0, we would see from minus infinity to 6. And it's, you see, like it's obviously not including 6 because of the line. Then we have from minus from 4 to 7 the same yeah and if we go it covers let's take a look at uh, something else let's take a look at plotting this function here we have the function definition in matplotlib just if you're wondering how i wrote this this is how i did it with markdown but you're probably not wondering so let's continue uh here you can say okay i have the f 
what will happen if I have f of x of 6? Yeah, f of 6 is something like 3, 4, 5, 6. Is it like an answer? Should be. And it is. Yeah. What about f of minus 6? I just pressed something that shouldn't be pressed. Minus 12 or something like this. f of minus 6 is a 0. So in our case, it's not a solution. And what will happen if we write f of 7? I'm expecting an error. Yes, a division by 0 error, which is actually great. Now, let's take a look at the other part, the last part of the Jupyter Notebook exercise and try to plot it. I have already written the code. Pretty much, we have a lot of x values from minus 10 to 10, pretty much avoiding 7 because 7 is a division by 0 automatically as you can see here let's put something positive like 6 yeah 3456.0 this is the answer if we replace 6 dx with x's and we plot the function here we highlight the solution intervals mark critical points and undefined regions. In our case, the roots shouldn't be included because the roots are the case when y is zero. Y is the answer of the whole thing. And we, we are not interested in the zero. We are interested in the cases where it is bigger than zero. So yes, the roots are not included. This seven is undefined for thing that I have already explained twice, but I will mention it again. We have a division by, z by 0 if we put f like 7 here. So that's why. And we have nice title for the whole thing. And showing the plot at the end. Let's take a look how it will look like. Well, pretty much what we expected. We have the solutions of the interval in different colors. If you don't like it for any for some kind of strange reason, you can change it and they can be the same color. <clears throat> and pretty much that's it. Let me know whether you like this type of new videos where I write something with the hand and then kind of try to explain it with Python code and graphs, or I should I should change the way I'm doing my videos to something else. So, enjoy the rest of your day or night and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.